Hey YouTube, this reacts to name John. I'm Ron. Sorry. I'm Nikki. <laughs> and this is Attack on Titan episode. So, last time <laughs> we had the rumbling begin. Yes. Yeah. And Aaron's gone full Eldritch Horror. Yes. Oh no. Mm -hmm. mm. We saw an epic flashback. Yes. And now, really, all cards are on the table. What's happening, guys? Yeah. I don't know what happens next. I don't. I don't know what hap I know what Aaron wants to do. But is it going to happen? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. boy. So, I, and his friends, like, I wonder, like, where his friends are in his mind in all this. Like, he wants to save his people, he's yeah. saying, and his land. Yeah. And he's going to kill everybody out there. And we, we argued, or, you know, talked about, like, is he talking about including alien, aliens out there? Or is it, like, there's some way the, the Titans will be able to differentiate aliens from non aliens or... Like, wh how... Because uh, he's, like, talking about destroying everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it would be very hard for the aliens to accept him as their savior if he doesn't save all the aliens outside the world as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even if he does save the aliens outside in the world, the aliens are so indoctrinated to think yes. that they're horrible, they, I don't think they would accept him anyway. That's the other thing. Like, there are a lot of them who have... The aliens themselves are factioned. So with that, this episode named Thaw, let's no. get into it. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Guys, like time here, please leave a like, subscribe, phone, and see more. Check out the page on the description if you guys want to see the uncut version of this reaction or access to the podcast early. Yeah, so thank you guys very much, and we'll see you in discussion. Oh, look at them. And we're back. Did we just meet God? Uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's an Eldian, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Can he not heal? Mm. Oh. oh. Uh, somehow. Mm. Alright, yeah, he's slowly mm. healing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like the whole world. Okay, so they're all thinking the aliens outside will die. Hmm. Gabby won't give up. <laughs> She's ironically like the attack date. <laughs> yeah. The hair oh. is smoothing back. Yeah, like Aaron. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> put, she put a nap <laughs> napkin. Put a napkin on him. <laughs> Just a little napkin. Like twenty napkins. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jean. <sighs> yeah. Oh, he's trying to convince himself. Okay. Because what what can they do? <laughs> it looks like a like a giant. Fish. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yeah, there you go. He said it. You're going to stab him in the back. <sighs> What, what is this? P? No. Oh. Oh. Yes, we can do it. Oh. A kid. All right, oh, his, his mom. mom is there. Which who's gonna say no though? Oh, so Armin doesn't agree. Yeah. Uh, you think you think you can outdo the conflict <laughs> that's happening? Um. Oh. 
だってベルトルト食ったからよみがえったんだろうが母ちゃん生き返らせるの止めんなよにうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうそれは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、ベン
What? Because he's just on on Aaron's, Aaron's side. side. Not even on Aaron's side. He just wants to make people suffer. <laughs> What's the restoration? Yeah. Well, our friend just kind of took him and ran off with him, so his mom can eat him. <laughs> He's got a serious head start, so. Yeah. What do you mean, why? That's a great question. Yeah. Well, we see that he can't control the other Chinese. Yeah, right. Because Zeke's fluid. Yeah. That's why it's called thought. Mm. Yeah. But they did that at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jean and the team mm -hmm. are collecting Falco. Mm -hmm. And they were planning, or, yeah, they were planning to, like, feed him to somebody, save someone. Mm -hmm. He was like, we can feed him to one of the soldiers and save mm -hmm. him. And then Condi's like, nah, fam. I'm taking from my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Jean wanted to use him for Pixis. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm. Honestly, I can't. I don't think either is necessarily a great bet because Pixis is an old man, and how much can he really contribute that our younger soldiers can't? Aside from he's a stable, stabilizing voice, I will give him that. And he's part of the government. Yeah. He's yeah. I mean, more than that, people listen to him. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Connie just. I mean, yeah, he's got such a head start. Mm -hmm. I don't think they can catch him. No. It's going to be like he's going to be there, and he's going to have to come to a decision on his own whether he should. Yeah. yeah. It's a kid. Are you really going to give him a kid? Uh, some kid. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, a, a big part of this episode was the selfishness going back to bite everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think a part of that was showing, um, even though Connie's doing it for someone else, he's doing it for his own, you know? Mm -hmm. Aaron's doing this for his own. Mm -hmm. Um Everyone's asking about their homeland. No one's thinking about the collective. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of the whole thing of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and also my question that I posed at the beginning for about is he killing the aliens too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. is. Literally everyone outside Everybody. of the island. Yeah. Because he didn't go for the Marlian soldiers. Yeah, we don't really know what's going on with the Titans here. Well, okay, so my theory is he... He he is still in that realm yeah. place, mm. um, and he uh, well we don't know maybe he came out when he after what's her name um, Ymir gave him the power yeah. maybe he came back because we saw his body form or whatever, but he's able to control things in like some things like he's able to control those times that were in the walls mm. and he was able to control the what was happening with the main nine because yeah. he was able to thaw Annie and he was able to get rid of. Reiner's hardening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think something happened to Zeke. Either Zeke's mentality is kind of frozen right now because he's like heartbroken at yeah. like what he was trying to do with Eren and he's just not paying attention. Mm. Or Eren actually got power to control him in some way so that he can't control the Titans. Mm -hmm. And Eren's mm -hmm. not thinking about all the other Titans because I don't think Eren even... No, no, no. He does know that they got changed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, is Zeke, something's going on with Zeke. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. quite sure what. Maybe, hmm. Well, the whole thing in the realm was like, the founder's a slave, yada, yada, yada. And sure, Aaron's telling her that he can do something different. It could also just be the only reason she was a slave was she was doing things anybody told her to, but maybe she finally is doing something for herself and restrains Zeke. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, Zeke's spinal fluid. So maybe, so maybe it's like... 
they can all create things and they can all affect things but things you have created and affected can't be messed with by between each else. other yeah. yeah so because they were changed by the spinal fluid perhaps he can't control them yeah right yeah, yeah. maybe Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But either way, he would have just left everybody to deal with those tyrants and mm-hmm. save themselves. But still, why is is Zeke down right now? Yeah, we just got to see. Where he at? Yeah. Mm. Pixis is dead. Pixis. Yeah. yeah. I was and, crying. Yeah. And pretty much the entire senior officer corps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It is funny. Shadis is here. Shadis is here. Shadis is going to be the new general. Oh my goodness. He was, because he had no part in the destiny, he survived. That oh, was his destiny. That was his destiny. Was to survive. The sleeper character. <laughs> He's always there. Yes. Because, you know, from the beginning of this show, I, I, I mean, I just love seeing um, army units in TV shows in general. Mm-hmm. But I, these guys have just been getting decimated. Remember when we were talking about the Scout Corps and there's 200 of them? And then, like, most of our, we have such a high mortality rate, there's barely 150 of us. And then they mm-hmm. got um, sectioned off and wiped out that one day. I don't know exactly what happened. It's like the military police did something and started killing them. Kenny mm-hmm. and his group started killing them when they were like, which is not really that many of us. Then Kenny's group started killing them yeah. and just get whittled them down, whittled them down, whittled them down. Then the invasion and Marley. So it's like they. They have no military at all. There's like 40 guys. Yeah. That's it. Wait. What? Connie's not going to make it to his mom. Why? He's going to find uh, Levi. <gasps> and then he's going to have to make the decision to save Levi. Yeah, because they're all out in the boonies right now. Right. And what's her name is with Levi? Um, uh, Peppy Girl. Glasses. Ha- ha- Forest. Ha- 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 Hanji. Hanji. So I thought we established that Ackermans can't transform. Oh, that's right. I, I don't know. It's very... Like, we assume it because of other information we they gave us. It's a good... Uh, it's a pretty good guess to make. That they couldn't take but a Titan. I feel like they haven't said Ackermans can't become Titans. Oh. If I, I thought I should Google it. <laughs> no. I don't know. That would be the only thing to save him right now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but the thing is... I, I feel like it would be... Crazy for Falco's character arc to end right there. Yeah. yeah. But so you also, think Falco has to live? Yeah, but also I don't know how else they save Levi. Yeah. He's he's missing both his legs. He's shorter than ever. He <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He also <laughs> lost some fingers. We saw some fingers on the floor. I mean, he's entirely incapacitated. Not incapacitated, was uh, disabled mm-hmm. from this point forward if they don't give him a titan. I mean, maybe they'll sacrifice Zeke. We don't know. Reiner keeps wanting to die. <laughs> he might just volunteer. You know, you never know. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Hmm. Oh, problem though. He, uh, what's his name? Uh, Levi would have to be converted to a titan first. So he would have yeah. to get some sort of fluid. Yeah, so they, they had probably those have injections to... from before. They might still find them, maybe. Mm-hmm. Hanji was experiment, so she probably has some. Mm-hmm. On her? <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a lab. Yeah. To synthesize some real quick. Um, what do you think about Gabby's redemption? Yeah. That was that was a good a good um series of events, I guess, for, for her to be the one to save her. Kaya. There, there, mm-hmm. Kaya, yeah, there was Kaya just hated her. Mm-hmm. Th- that was the only way for her to be almost dead. And calling on her big sis, and, and she comes, big to, sis save comes to save her. Yeah, mm. so um, I thought it was a good, a good thing that happened. A, a good circle of it come it all comes back around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Second chance, and the family protected her and stuff, so yeah, she knows they still care. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And they're still calling her Ben. Ben. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. yeah. like, <laughs> I need to say Falco. Oh, you mean Ben? <laughs> no, his real name is Falco. <laughs> No, his name is like, hey, you mean Ben. <laughs> and even when he was like telling her to behave, he was like, Mia, I need you. Like, he's calling her Mia. He's like, no, you're not. Gabby, you're Mia. <laughs> Mia, you're Mia. <laughs> Maybe this is the family that adopts her. We don't know. Uh-huh. And you can use it. Yeah. Especially since she doesn't uh, think. 
Actually, this whole their whole group right there is a perfect like ambassador group if the world ever gets fixed somehow and that whole decimation doesn't happen. They'd be a good ambassador family because we have a, a Marleyan who is going to marry one of the daughters. So she died. And then we have Gabby who's adopted now, I guess. <laughs> the whole family's all, all connected. And Randy just kicks out there. Look, you can't adopt my little sister. Her parents are still alive. <laughs> And then, right, and then that was, uh, after that was when uh, Shadis, Shadis appears, saved the people who literally kicked him. Yeah. Saved but they, the specific they were, guy who was going ham. Yeah, but they were um, under threat yeah. of death. Yeah. So I don't, I didn't hold it against them. Neither and did I. I don't, I I don't, don't think Shadis does either. Yeah. 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 I, I think I, he even said, I don't remember if he said anything, but I think, maybe it was just in my head he said, guys... It's okay. Either e- either either choice here. No hard feelings. <laughs> uh, I think I actually kind of remember. He was basically saying, "Bring it on." You guys can't do anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <And he got laughs> yeah. But yeah, but it was the spirit that counts. Yeah. Yeah, they were under duress, but before that, they were kind of showing, um, like they were kind of weak weird in about mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean to beat them up? No, no, they, no. A lot of Eldians were backing Aaron. Like mm-hmm. they felt like Aaron was right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Yeagers, mm-hmm. because they all felt that. You know, why should we accept being the world's devils? Why mm-hmm. can't we fight back? Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Which, speaking of which, um, Jean, kind of thinking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, maybe he's right, right, right. I mean, you're at, for him. we're at this point now. It's not like th- being like, we can't do this anymore. It's like. It's happening. It's happening. Like, are you going to fight the giant fish? <laughs> you you going to fight the giant fish? No. Mm-hmm. So, so he's just kind of like. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's like coping mechanism. Coping mechanism, mm-hmm. yeah. Interestingly, Armin has has stayed positive for so long. Yeah. He's like it's the only one. State. Like I wonder if it has something to do with his Titan. Do you think? Bertold was kind of positive. Was kind of like that. Yeah, even when uh, what's his name? Even when uh the other guy, Reiner, was kind of going crazy back and forth and he was Kind of what he was saying was kind of getting to Bert Holt, where he's like, "We're the like we're the bad guys," mm-hmm. um, right? Uh, Bert Holt was still the one trying to complete the mission, trying to do what he thought was the thing he needed to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's Armin too. Yeah. Compacted on top of Armin, Armin also is always was like, optimistic. Yeah. 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 He was like, "Let's go see the ocean." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's also gotten braver. That too. He, yeah, I wouldn't it'd, be say, hard, it'd be hard not to. I mean, yeah, but I mean, before he wasn't necessarily a coward, but he was skittish. He, he was the most cautious of the group. Mm-hmm. And now he's more willing to just, listen, we need to go do this, we need to go do that. Mm-hmm. So maybe the Colossal, perhaps, is influenced to be more dutiful, mm-hmm. maybe? Mm-hmm. It would make sense because he's like, or not make sense, but it would be an interesting contrast to his like physique. Like he's this giant mm-hmm. mass of flesh right, yeah. you know and then you have this very gentle gentle soul, soul in it mm-hmm. both of them both old and mm-hmm. Armin. yeah and it would make sense to make sure that the colossal had that kind of spirit because mm-hmm. they could destroy a city with a fire right. like if you're about to go up there it's, it's a bad you shouldn't let back <laughs> oh, I, I the was like, colossal <laughs> titan don't don't let that happen yeah <laughs> i mean he already tells people to die as yeah. it is <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we see Thunder Spears, um, and they they get the soldiers off their butts to to and put on the old O D M O O E M O D O D M O E D O E D O D M O D M O D M Omnidirectional Movement Gear. Okay, O D M. Okay, gear. I don't know why my brain is still processing. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he puts it on, and then they got the thunder spears, and we see Pixis, and we, we say yeah. thank you and good night. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. You know, it's funny. I was I was thinking, you know, Pixis was a good guy, but I couldn't remember in the moments of all the things he did, and then the yeah. flashbacks like, oh man, he really was the he one was who stuck his neck out. He was there from the beginning. Them. Yeah. He, he, he when no one else believed in them, he did, and he even saw in Armin a leader. But mm-hmm. no one else did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have to say too, the music in that whole montage was really good. It was nice. I liked it, like um, 
words music, not instrumental, but it, mm-hmm. it fit. It was nice. Yeah. I don't know what it, they were saying, but mm-hmm. I liked it. We've heard it before. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we have. Uh, I can't remember what, but we have heard it before. Hmm. Um, it's, it did feel like almost uh, somewhat of a healing for the yeah. city. Mm-hmm. Four factions that broke apart, uh, that came back together because at the end of the day, they're all aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie! Yeah. Did she see the other world? Did she see the daydream? Yeah, we don't know like her her if she's living in there, you mm-hmm. know, because Armin has been talking to her. Yeah. What if she's been in there the whole time? No, like in in the oh, dream in that world, world, she's learned secrets. <laughs> I'd be shocked if she couldn't hear Armin talking to her the whole at time. At least, yeah, uh, yeah mm-hmm. I, at least, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, and also she was like gasping for air, as if mm-hmm. she just came back alive. Well, it it looked like the actual hardening had thawed, like literally thawed. So she just she got could have been in water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For like the first fifteen seconds that she's she woke up, it just it's like somebody jumps like two to three buckets of water on you continuously <laughs> when if when when you wake up. So my question is, Aaron, Armin heard Aaron say, "I'm I'm what melting the hardening or something? What getting rid of hardening?" Decreasing the hard. You said hardening. get rid of all the hard. Yeah. Did he intentionally do that to stop Reiner, or was it to get Annie out like on purpose? The walls. Oh, the hardening. Oh, the walls. Yeah, the walls okay. are hardening. Oh, they're also hardening. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like. Because we s- no no because you know we've seen whenever he went into that form of when he starts crystallizing, he started to fuse the wall. That's why he had to break out in time before he was merged with the wall. Remember back when he first did it because they had that hole and it's like I can patch that hole mm-hmm. and he jumped in the spot and then he like ripped himself off before it froze so oh. then that was supposed to imply that the walls were also hardening. Yeah. They they that. said that the because the walls the, back in season one the walls were indestructible right. nobody knew why mm-hmm. and then Aaron and Annie slammed into them and cracked a piece and that was when we saw the hole this stuff and then I think it was after Hanji examined the piece of the wall. And the stuff that Annie did, and she was like, they're the same. Oh. So then they were like, that's when they were like, oh my goodness, it's a whole Titan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That explains that. And, and that's why they used Aaron's hardening to patch the hole in the wall. To okay. fix wall Maria? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't remember. You're going to say something. I was just trying to think of like the consequences of no no more hardening. Because well, he, he, it's part of his power. Yeah. So... I think it's more like a, a whatever he says it <laughs> kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I think he just like take down the and also now. and also he's a new looking creature. He's not quite mm-hmm. attack titan anymore. Mm. He found it in something. Yeah, give him boosty boost. Mm. Um, or that that that, that jelly god, eel. the original god thing, the eel, the eel. Mm. That thing is weird, but I think it's more of it's linked to her. Mm. Like it gave her the chance, not mm. everyone else. Mm. So, uh, by extension, I think it would be the founder who gave him the thing. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. But it seemed like the thing was called to him the same way it chose her, it's choosing him. It did? That's what it seemed like to me. Uh, I don't remember seeing that. Because remember, it was flying through the sky and then it went to his head. Oh, right. Yes, it did. Oh, yeah. And that's when he went on. But but that's also only after he was saying, "I, I will free the world and stuff to the founder. Yeah. So it's still, it's still... Um, so that's the reason that she was mm-hmm. the one who connected somehow. Yeah. Because we haven't seen anything to him that embodies her power, except for that thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then if we see that, that would be saying to everyone that the founder is doing something. Mm-hmm. But also, yeah, so the hardening thing, I think that was just a one-time, like, undo all of it. It's yeah. gone. Mm-hmm. He can come back into it. It's mm-hmm. just, it got mm-hmm. undone. Mm-hmm. He's still just a giant fish. It's just, <laughs> it looks like a fish. It does. Or dog. Whose side does Annie get on? Yeah. Well, I think she's definitely... Well, honestly, there are only two sides left now. Yeah. People who want to Kill save. the world or don't. Yeah, basically. So, um, I'm feeling like it's gonna be Annie against Aaron. Mm-hmm. I really think so. I'm kinda not sure. Mm-hmm. Mainly because of the flashback before she got taken out in season one. She was saying, even when all the world hates you, I'll be there for you. Her dad was hugging her. Mm-hmm. And I kind of took that to mean, because she started crying. And I kind of took that to mean that maybe she d- didn't do what she wanted or le- felt like she should have done back then. 
because we didn't know about the whole uh, LDS being segregated and stuff like that back then. So now I take that to mean he was saying be proud of yourself when everyone was saying you're a devil and stuff like that. So maybe she will do the right thing now and help Eldia. Thank you guys very much for being here, guys. Like, diamond, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Check out the Patreon in the description if you guys want to see any of the stuff that we have or you want to uncover of this reaction or anything else that we do. And remember to check out the TikTok and the Instagram reels in the description if you guys want to see shorts made by Niki. Thank you very much. I will see you in the city. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. And thanks to our patrons, Dirty Old Man, Jesse, Yivitek, OGC, and Surreal.